ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವಂ ಅಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ಮೇಲೋಕ ಸಪ್ತೀಪಿನಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತೋ ಜೀವಾಖ್ಯಾತೇ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ಸೊ ವಿ ಫಿನಿಶ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವೇರ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಡಿ ಡನ್ವೆಯ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಹೇ ಕೌಂಟೇಯ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ತು ಶೀತೋಷ್ಣ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖದ ಆಗಮಾಪಾಯಿನ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೇ ಭಾರತ ತಾನ್ ಪ್ರತೀಕ್ಷಸ್ವ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಐಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೇ ಭಾರತ ತಾನ್ ತಾನ್ ಪ್ರತೀಕ್ಷಸ್ವ ಸೊ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಮಾತ್ರ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ಆರ್ ದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭೂತ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಆರ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕರ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಭೂತ್ ಸೊ ಭೂತ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಹೇ ಕೌಂತೇಯ ಹೇ ಕೌಂತೇಯ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಶೀತೋಷ್ಣ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖದ ಆಗಮ ಪಾಯಿನ ಕೆನ್ ಪುಟ್ ದಮ್ ಇನ್ ಎನಿ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಸೊ ಆಗಮ ಪಾಯಿನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಆಗಮ ವಿಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ದೋ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಆರ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ದಿ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ದಿ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಿ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ when they are in touch with vishayas uh, the shabda sparsha roop rasaganda then they uh, potentially generate sheetoshna or sukha dukha and again sheetoshna i explained this sheetoshna as uh, the things which affect the sharira the stool sharira sukha dukha which affect the sukshma sharira they don't really affect you another uh, why sheetoshna uh, uh, can be sukha or dukha therefore also they are um, separated out otherwise one can say sheeta is uh, sheeta and ushna should be included in sukha dukha so their uh, explanation given is sheeta and ushna need not necessarily be sukha or dukha for everyone so sheeta and at all times sheeta can be sukha during warm weather and vice versa so agama painah anitya bhavanti therefore tantitiksha so this will also change this period will also change and then kalaya tasmay navaha whatever comes to you by prarabdha it will not continue so you will not have always sukha or always dukha and sheetoshna also will change of course uh, arjuna is not uh, thinking of sheetoshna right now he is and not even thinking of sukha he is looking at dukha right now he is immersed in dukha and then in the context he is explaining all of this krishna is telling him that sukha dukha and sheetoshna they similar they are very similar as they are agama pai and anitya they will not stay for long sheetoshna din sahata kim syad iti shrunu so why should why should titiksha be done titiksha is sahana ಸಹನ ಸರ್ವ ದುಃಖಾನ ಅಪ್ರತಿಕಾರ ಪೂರ್ವಕ ಸೊ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಕ್ಷಾ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ತತ್ವಬೋಧ ಇಸ್ ಸಹನ ಸರ್ವ ದುಃಖಾನ ಸಹನ ಟು ಎಂಡ್ಯೂರ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ದುಃಖ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸುಖ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ದುಃಖ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟಾಲ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸಹನ ಸಹನ ಸರ್ವ ದುಃಖಾನ ಅಪ್ರತಿಕಾರ ಪೂರ್ವಕ ಓಕೆ ಇವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಇವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಎಂಡ್ಯೂರ್ ದಿ ದುಃಖ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಅಪ್ರತಿಕಾರ ಪೂರ್ವ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಅಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ತಿಕ್ಷಾ ನಾವು ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಡೂ ಸಹನ 
of these Shetoshna and Sukadukha. What happens to him? Tasya Kim Syad means what will happen to him or what will accrue to him? What is the use of doing it? That is the idea. Sahata is for the person who is. So this Shashti Ekvachana for one who is enduring what? Shetoshna Deen. So karma for Sahan. Shatranta Sahata Kim Syad. What will happen to him? Shrunu. Please listen. So Lotlakara Madhya Purusha Ekvachana. Shrunu. Please listen what will happen. Why should I do it? So Arjuna, you have to think of Puro Paksha, uh, not Puro Paksha, Arjuna is thinking. Arjuna is thinking, why should I do it? So if that is the question, Arjuna has an any sadhaka. Benefit is what? That is given here. Yam hi na vyathayantete purusham purusham shava samadukha sukandhiram so amrutatvaya kalpate. Why? You will get amruta. So <laughs> amruta as in immortality. How so? In the long run, this is the way. So you get into the uh, you start using the stepping stones. So, you will become a real sadhaka. So, yam hi yam hi na vyathente just a second let me mark this. So, yam Dithya Ekochana, he is an avya, no he is an avya. Vyathayanti ete, vyathayanti ete. Vyathayanti is plural, Prathama Purusha, Bhuvachana. And ete is also plural. So ete, yam na vyathayanti. So for vyathayanti, karma is yam. Yam hu purusham. So yam purusham na vyathayanti. Vyathayanti. Ete Shitoshna Dukha Dayaha. So Shitoshna Dukha Daha. So that is Shitoshna Sukha Dukha Daha. Which are those Matras Parshaha. All of these. But Sukha Dukha Daha are Sparshaha. But what is this Ete? Ete Shitoshna Sukha Dukha Dayaha. So or Shitoshna Sukha Dukha. Here he takes only that. Shitoshna Deen. So Shitoshna Deen what? Shita Ushna Sukha Dukha Adi, not Daha. Daha is Upapata Tatpurusha, those which give Shita Ushna Sukha Dukha. And Tanti Tikshaswa is what? Not Matras Parshan. Here also Tan is Shita Ushna Sukha Dukhaan Tikshaswa. So you have to take this part. So this Shita Ushna Sukha Dukha are offered by these, are resultant of this contact of sense organs with Vishya. But so what should you do Titiksha of? Not of uh, sense organs. You don't, it is not said that endure the contact of the sense organ with the Vishya. It is said that Shetoshna Sukha Dukha. So you have to uh, take the right pronoun here. And therefore in continuation he says that. He clarifies here. Tan Shetoshna Deen. So therefore also it is clear that Tan is Shetoshna Deen. And here also same thing, ete shitoshna sukha dukha, dukha, if you don't use adi pada also you can say shitoshna ha or shitoshna sukha dukha da, sukha dukha ha, ete these, yam purusham na vyathayanti, na vyathayanti do not afflict whom, whom they do not afflict, who is that, he purusha rishabha, purushana rishabha, it is a sambodhana, Sambodhana Vibhakti. So, Rishabha, you are Rishabha. Rishabha is a bull. So, bull among men means he is people who have the strength of a bull. They are called as Rishabhas. So, Rishabha Iva. Purushana Madhye Rishabha Iva. He is like a bull among men. So, therefore, it is Purushar Shabha and it is a Sambodhana Vibhakti. He Purushar Shabha. So he is saying that you are a bull among uh, human beings. Can't you endure this? So endure this. That is how. That's the idea there. So yam purusha he purushar shava yam purusham ete sukadukha daya ha na vyathayanti. And who is that purusha again? Who is samadukha sukham dhiram? That is the hetu for na uh, vyathayanti. They don't afflict. Why is not the person afflicted, or why don't 
these afflict a person because he has titiksha now and titiksha means what he has titiksha he has samabhava towards dukha and sukha so therefore samadukha sukham purusham it is in samanadikaran with purusham who is and thereby by enduring by enduring the sukha dukha and shitoshna what has he become he has become a dhira he is dhairyavan he is dhira what happens saha amrutatvaya kalpate so he becomes fit for amrutatvam he becomes fit so we'll take kalpate as he becomes fit amrutatvaya for amrutat so he becomes fit to partake amrutatvam in the long run through titik through all these sadhana chaturtya titiksha he has already got now so others he can build upon and then thereby become a become an adhikari for jnana so what is the anvaya here vyathayan vyatha yanti and now we'll go with the verb so karta of this and kartari prayoga which which is the karta here ete ete sukha dukhadaya so shitoshna sukha dukhadaya all those shitoshna sukhadaya sukha dukhadaya yam purusham na vyathyanti and who is that again yam sama dukha sukham धीरम पुरुषम न व्यथेंती व्हाट हैपेंस सह पुरुषः अमृ अमृतत्वाय कल्पते सो दैट इज अनवया हियर नेक्स्ट श्लोक इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय भाष्यकार बाय सेइंग इतश्च शोक मोह अकृत्वा शीतोष्णादि सहनम युक्त सो इत 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 इज वॉट ड्यू टू दिस रीजन ऑल्सो पंचमी अर्थे तसेल इत एंड एंड ड्यू टू दिस रीजन ऑल्सो इत इज दिस रीजन इदम इदम अर्थे एंड ड्यू टू दिस इन कंटिन्शन एंड अनदर रीजन आई गिव यू वाई शुड यू नॉट एंगेज इन शोक एंड मोह अकृत्व एंड why should you endure shitoshnaadi shitoshna are the result of what shoka moha so shoka moha if you don't do uh, so i mean uh, shitoshna is there that kind of a shoka moha is not there so shitoshna will not affect you at least not so much so this is dvitiya vibhakti divachana shoka moha akrutva karma to tvanta pada here akrutva not having done not having done so krutva would be having done this is nanj akrutva not having done not having done what shoka and moha so not being deluded or under the influence of grief what should you do shitoshna shitoshna adi adi padena sukha dukha shitoshna adi sahanam yuktam it is tenable it is the right thing to do it is but proper what is this shitoshna adi sahanam yuktam सो प्रथमा विभक्ति अकृत्वा शीतोष्णादि शोकमोह अकृत्वा शीतोष्णादि सहनम युक्तम किमर्थम इतश्च फॉर दिस रीजन आल्सो यस्मात 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 कारणात यस्मात सिंस दिस इज एन अवेयर व्हाई नेक्स्ट श्लोक सो दैट इज द कनेक्शन व्हाई इन कंटिन्यूएशन अनदर रीजन आई गिव यू व्हाई शुड यू नॉट गिव योरसेल्फ और यू शुड स्टे अवे फ्रॉम शोकमोह व्हाई and thereby endure shitoshna shitoshna di why because nasato vidyate bhavo na bhavo vidyate satah ubhay rupi drishtanta tvanayo tattva darshi bhi so nasato vidyate bhavah सो न असत न असत विद्य न असत असत इज वॉट विल से नॉट सत 
that which is not sat is asat what is that not sat any sat so you have to define what is sat first for you to know what is not sat sat has to be defined so bhashyakara does that further na asatah vidyate bhavah na abhavah abhavah vidyate satah ubhayo api ubhayo api drishtah antah tattva anayoh anayoh antah anayoh tattva darshibihi न अव्यय असत षष्टी एक वचन असत इज छत्रंत सो अस्धातु प्लस अस्धातु अकारा विल गेट ड्रॉप नहीं दिस इज नॉट अस्धातु फॉर्म असत असत इज नॉट असत सत इज द फॉर्म सत छत्रंत एंड षष्टी एक वचन ऑफ दैट इज सत न सत असत सो न सत असत एंड तस्य असत ऑफ दैट विच इज नॉट सत भाव न विद्य सो द फर्स्ट सेंटेन्स इज वॉट असत भाव न विद्य देर आर फाइव आई थिंक फाइव धातु विद विद धातु वन ऑफ द धातु सो विद ज्ञाने ऑल्सो एक्जिस्ट ज्ञाने इज बट हियर दिस इज इन सत्ता अर्थे same as as or bhu so bhu satta and vid also in this in the same meaning asataha bhavana vidyate means the existence bhava existence of what of asat existence of asat is that which is not existent so asat is that which is not sat how can it have existence it cannot have existence we'll see why he says that then bhavaha असत भावान विद्य देन सत सत अभाव न विद्य सो दैट विच इज आई जस्ट यू सत एंड असत दैट विच इज असत दैट दैट कैन नेवर बी एक्सिस्टेंट दैट इज द मीनिंग भाव न विद्य मीन्स देर कैन नॉट बी एन बी एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ एन असत पदार्थ that which is not sat and if it is existent it will never cease to be so satah abhava na vidyate sat is that which is trikala badita satya trikala baditam satyam trikala baditam is trikala trikala abaditam that which is not negated in any of the three periods of time that is sat and what is asat that which is not sat meaning that which does not that which does not have its presence in all three periods of time all three any any of the three periods of time it if it is not existent then it cannot be said to be sat it is asat so bhagwan bhashyakara takes an example of ghata for example ghata you take pot a pot do, can you call pot as sat or asat now pot before its creation was not there after its creation after its destruction also it is not there so what in nyaya uh, they call it as pragabhava and pradhamsa bhava pragabhava means what before creation the absence before creation of anything is called as pragabhava prior absence and after destruction the absence is also categorized by nayayika after destruction of that pot that will be ghatasya pradhamsa pradhamsa bhava the absence after destruction anyway if we, we need not worry about that what are we saying is that was the pot existent all the time no it was created meaning before creation it was not existent and after not existent i'll explain what not existent means not that it was never there it was it was there during it is there during the period that you cognize it so after creation and before destruction it was there we will call it as before manifestation and after unmanifestation it was not there but not there as in it was in unmanifest form ghata was not there as ghata but it was there as as clay it was there in the clay but right now 
we'll call it as asat why is it asat because it is not ghata is not existent in all three periods of time therefore bhavana vidyate it if you say that the ghata is born ghata is really existent then ghata is subject to coming and going meaning it is asat and it can never be called as really existent the satta belongs to its karana that which is created its existence is borrowed from its karana its cause the cause lends its existence to the to the karya to the effect so clay itself appears as the clay pot just like gold appears as a bangle or a ring but the gold is its uh, the material cause belongs to the karana gold not the karya so you take away the gold it cannot have uh, you, the bangle cannot have an existence or a ring cannot have existence so it has a dependent existence so asat really is what we we call as mithya which cannot be categorically said to be real or unreal however here you will see that we will we'll see more of this but here asat is that which is not sat is sufficient satah abhavana vidyate asatah bhavana vidyate it is very clear simple statement is very clear that that which is existent which can be is real can never go and that which is not real how can it exist unreal cannot have existence and that which is real can never cease to exist he wants arjuna to clearly clearly discriminate between atma and anatma atma is that which is sat anything other than atma is anatma and therefore asat like the sharira so what is he grieving for are you grieving for the sharira or atma which we have seen in the initial opening statement of bhagwan krishna he had said that if you you are talking like a pandita but you are grieving so uh, panditaha na anusochanti tantu anushosasi so you are grieving but you are talking like a pandita you are not a pandita because panditas do not grieve those who know this tatvadarshi panditas are tatvadarshi tatvadarshi they don't grieve because they know that sh- asat asata bhava vina vidyate means the sharira is not really existent at all and you are grieving for sharira if you are not grieving for sharira then you are grieving for atma atma can never cease to be then how can you think that you are going to kill them therefore in both cases if, if you are grieving for anatma need not be grieved for because it never existed never existed as it is not a real entity it is not real meaning it will come and it is subject to coming and going it will come and go so that which has gone will be born again and that which has is born will have a definite death therefore uh, if you are thinking that it is uh, anatma that you are grieving for need not be grieved for if you are grieving for atma then atma anyway and will never cease to be therefore both ways you need not cry for the in with that as background he is explaining and ubhayo rapi ubhayo is of both of both which are the two sat and asat so ubhayo sadasado ho of sat and asat ubhayo asat sadasato ho ubhayo ho ubhayo enayo ho of these two of these ena of these two enayo ho is of these two both are enayo ho ubhayo enayo ho ubhayo here Uh, vidyate no vidyate ubhayo api drishta ena uh, anai sorry uh, anayo not ena enam i went to enam so anayo ho anayo ho ubhayo ho of these two anayo ho ubhayo ho uh, what is the ubhayo api of these two even of these two drishta what is seen drishta drishta antaha drishta anta drishta by who tatvadarshi bhi anayo ho ubhayo ho api tatvadarshi bhi anta drishta anta is what 
So of these two, Antaha is seen. What is Anta? Anta is Niranaya, Drishta, is seen. By whom? By Tattva Darshivi. By those who, Tattva, who are dar, Darshi, who are Darshi, Tattva Darshi. Uh, we'll see this word in a little while. Asataha Bhavana Vidya, Sataha Bhavana, uh, Abhavana Vidya, Anayoho Sadasadoho. So that is Sadasadoho. Sadasadoho. Ubhayo api Tattva Darshi bhi Antaha Drashtaha. Antaha is Niranaya. Like Vedanta. What is the Niranaya of conclusion or commitment of Veda? That is called as Vedanta. Similarly here Antaha. Anayoho Antaha. Antaha Niranaya. The conclusion. What is, what is decisive factor of this? The Sat. Basically what is the truth of the of both that is seen clearly by those who are habituated to seeing the truth of things so, uh, and here Tattvadarshi we will see what, what it means uh, others you can mark perhaps so Bhavaha and here Na Abhava Ikyadi uh, Ubhayo Api Anayo so Tattvadarshi is I will just mark this case can mark the ones later. So, Asata Bhavana Vidyate, all this till Antaha Drishta. So, Niranaya Drishta. By whom? Tattva Darshi Bhi. By Tattva Darshi. What is Tattva Darshi? It's a Tattva, Tattvam. See, uh, okay, let me explain the way Bhashyakara uh, looks at it. Tat plus Tva plus Darshi. We'll just split it this way and see what it means. Darshi and in Triti Darshi it will be Darshinah Darshinaha in and Taihi Tattva Darshi bhi. this is plural Darshinaha so Tattva Darshi and then Tattva Darshinaha Tattva Darshi plural is Tattva Darshinaha Taihi Tattva Darshi bhi. okay so what is this Tat so, Bhagavan Bhashyakara there says Tattiti Sarvanama. Very interesting way to look at it. Tattiti Sarvanama. Tat is a pronoun. Sarvanama means pronoun. And what can you use pronoun for? So, Tat is, another thing is here, Tat is, uh, uh, it is a, uh, it is a, it, it can be used in all three genders. It declines differently in all three genders. But if you take Samanya Napun Sakam, then Napunsaka can cover all three genders. Now if you make a Samasa or you add a Pratyaha, then Tat will be taken there. Whether it is a Pullinga or Strilinga, Tat will, uh, you will add Pratyaha to Tat. Now what is Tat? Tat being Sarvanama, it stands for anything and everything. So he takes that approach by and explains that Tat it is Sarvanama. And what is the Sarvanama? Sarvanama is uh, Na. Of includes sarva, everything. It includes everything. And what includes everything? He says, sarvam cha brahma. Sarvam cha brahma. Therefore, tat is what? It is brahma. It is brahma. And tasya bhavaha tvatalo, by that, brahmana bhavaha tattva. Tasya bhava. So, tat will be brahma. Tattvam will be what? Brahmana bhavaha. What is brahma? What is Brahma that you know by Tattva? So, Tattva is reality of everything. And reality of everything is what? Brahma. So, Brahmana Bhav, Brahmatvam. That's what it will mean, Brahmatvam. Brahmatvam Darshina. So, uh, Tattvam Darshitum Shilam Yesham. Sh uh, Shilam Yesham. Tattva Darshina and Taihi Tattva Darshi. So, those who see Tattva everywhere, those who cannot see anything but Tattva, they just know that the truth of everything is Brahma. Therefore, they see Brahma everywhere. So, these are Jnanis. And by these Jnanis, Anayoho, Ubhayoho, Sadasadoho, Api, Antaha, Drishtaha. They clearly see what is the reality, what is the truth of this Sadhana Sat. And he finally concludes and says, what, what do they see really? They say Sat, Sadeva, Asad Asadeva. That is 
what Bhashyakara concludes there. So, uh, I'll just mention a Puro Paksha there as to what happens when uh, this, what is Sat and Asat. So, uh, he says, uh, just show you, I'll just read a couple of sentences there so that this, this is a very important mantra. He'll keep on coming back to this with this idea. So, uh, I think we'll, let's look at Advaita Sharada. So in the 16th shloka here, what does he say in the end? He says, um, what's in the end? Okay, so uh, what is the definition for sat? So I just wanted to show you that. This is very important, okay. Um, yad vishya buddhihi na vyabicharati tat sat. Yad vishya vyabicharati means buddhi vyabicharati tat sat. So this, this is the definition. So, grammatically, na sat asat, that is our definition. But what is, how does he define sat? Yad vishya buddhihi na vyabicharati. Yad vishya means uh, the subject matter, uh, whatever is the subject, whatever, you can take it as object to start with, but relating to which, you can, better way to say is relating to which the buddhi, buddhi is what the vritti, the vritti that you have, or the understanding that you have regarding something, that nerve vyabicharati means what does not change. So what you cognize, that never changes. Cognize or what you understand. So ghata, if you are looking at ghata, that ghata vishaya buddhi vyabicharati. Because ghata is there now, it is not there tomorrow. It, it was not there earlier. I can move it. I can move it. I can destroy it. So the buddhi will keep on changing. Not only that, you are looking at the ghata. So when you are looking at the ghata, so there are two things. Idam, idam ghata or ayam ghata there. Ayam ghata. This is a pot. Now when I shift that to something else, I look at a at a piece of cloth. Then I'll say ayam pataha. So what has happened now? Ghata buddhi has changed to pata buddhi. Ghata buddhi has changed to pata buddhi. Therefore, what? There is vyabhichara. Vyabhichara in buddhi. So, buddhi vyabhichara is there relating to what? Relating to yat. Yat, that vishaya, yad vishaya. So, relating to ghata. So, ghata vishaya buddhi he has become now pata vishaya buddhi. Therefore, what? Ghata, bud, ghata buddhi has changed to pata buddhi. Thereby, vyabhichari tad. Tad is what? Not yad vishaya. Yat. Yat tat. Yat and tat are in samanadikram. So, ghata vishaya buddhi hi na vyabhi, yad vishaya buddhi hi na vyabhi charati tat sat. But ghata vishaya buddhi vyabhi charati. Therefore, what? Yad vishaya vyabhi charati tat asat. So, ghata vishaya buddhi, ghata vishaya buddhi vyabhi charati. Therefore, ghatam, this ghata ha asat. Yat, yat is ghata here. And Pata Vishaya also Vyabhicharati, therefore Pata is also Asat. Then Anatma Vishaya, if you put everything together, Jagat Prapancha, Anatma Vishaya Buddhi Vyabhicharati, what uh, Arjuna cognizes as all of these Acharyas, Bhishma, Ityadi, he is looking at Sharira, Anatma. Atma cannot be cognized. Yad Vishaya, Anatma Vishaya Buddhi Vyabhicharati, Tad Asat, Anat, Anatma Asat. So everything which is not Atma, what is not Atma? Everything that which is not Atma is this Prapancha. There is, there is only one Atma. There is only 
atma and anatma bheda now. So, if you cognize something that is anatma, atma is not cognizable and all that is anatma is what? Asat. This is the definition here and yad vishaya, yad vishaya buddhi na vibicharati. What is that? Whenever you are seeing uh, ayam ghataha, when you say ayam ghataha, that time what is happening is that ayam, what you see, ayam and then you say ghataha. So, in English you will say this is a pot. When you say this is a pot, you are cognizing pot and that pot can be this is a cloth also once you start seeing. But this is same that this, thisness, thisness does not belong to pot, is, this is, that this is and isness that does not belong to the pot or the cloth that is borrowed from what that is sat and that isness does not change ever. So, Bhashyakara explains that when Ghata, Ghata is, when Ghata is destroyed, that time Ghata Buddhi is not there, but it is Sad Buddhi, that Sat, Satta goes to the, uh, the shards of the pot. The pot is broken into pieces, the pot is destroyed. The way you knew the pot, that pot is destroyed. But this existence was borrowed from its Karana or its parts. So, those Kapalas which are broken now, there the pot uh, the karana as karana it exists, therefore satta exists there, that isness belongs to, now has shifted from pot to, shifted as in what you saw as pot, they, where you saw that pot asti, ghata asti, that astitum is not due to that ghata, astitum is borrowed from the, its karana, actually in mrit, but then now when you say when it is destroyed, where did it go, it is there in two pieces now, but astitum is there, that astitam continues. Therefore, we say finally when you trace back that astitam will be to the Mula Karana which is Ishwara or Brahma. And that Yadvishaya, when you say that I cognize the pot, so I am, that I continues there, I, I am providing Satta to the pot. So Yadvishaya Buddhi Aham, that Atma Vishaya Buddhi Navya Vicharati. So if someone says that existence is gone, existence is not gone. Existence continues in, in pieces of pot. Existence continues when you say that this is a cloth. So, this is a pot and this is a cloth. That easiness has continued from pot to cloth. That easiness belongs to actually, easiness is the objectifier, the knower, who is finally not even knower, who is of the nature of consciousness. So, I am existent and I am conscious of seeing this pot or cloth. So, I continue between two vrittis in any buddhi pratya I continue as sat and as conscious, as consciousness, existence and consciousness, but the vishaya that idam, this is a pot or a cloth, that pot and cloth keep on changing, it can be anything, the entire jagat keeps on changing, the sharira keeps on changing, but atma continues in each and every pratya across, across all cognitions, across any kind of cognition, whether you see or hear or you touch or you taste, the cognition continues across, um, the uh, consciousness continues across and existence also continues and that is what continues across lives also, across various lives. So, this is the sh uh, short part about that. I just wanted to explain this. This is a very important statement. Yad vishya buddhi navya vicharati tat sat. Yad vishya vya vicharati tat sat. And then there are question and answers there as to what happens. Ghate vinashte, ghata buddha vya vicharantyam, sad buddhi rapi vya vicharati iti chet. So he says that sad buddhi is also changing. Sad buddhi is, atma buddhi is changing. He is not saying atma buddhi, sad buddhi vya vicharati. When ghata is broken, then he says sad buddhi is also changing. This is a purva paksha. He says na pata adho api. Sad Buddhi Darshana. This is in Pata you see. Then the Purva Pakshi says that uh, Sad Buddhi Vat Ghata Buddhi Api Ghata Antare Drishyati Tichet. He says, you, why are you being so partial? He says, if you say the Sad Buddhi continues and it does not change, then I can say that when, when ghata, one Ghata is destroyed, in other, another Ghata, Ghata Buddhi will also continue. So, these kind of arguments continue, but in another Ghata, one thing it is a, another Ghata, but let's say they are similar. From ghata to ghata, if you cognize one ghata and another ghata, 
let's hypothetically assume that the ghata buddhi continues and thereby he says that there is no vyabhichara but if you look at a pata or you hear some word then the ghata buddhi is gone pata buddhi has come and you can't have ghata buddhi and pata buddhi simultaneously therefore what is happening you, it, it is changing vyabhichara is there therefore asat so we have defined sadhana asat as per uh, as per gita so sataha abhavana vidyate asataha bhavana vidyate this is the truth that is seen by tattvadarshi bhi so they don't get confused why are you getting confused you should not get confused and you should not grieve for anatma which never had a presence and you should not grieve for atma because it will never cease to be it is foolishness to keep grieving this is the idea behind this shloka kim punaha tat yat sadeva sarvada iti so why does he say that because in the end he concluded uh, somewhere he will have said uh, sat sadeva asad sadeva so antah so antah is nirnaya antah drishtah ubhayor api sadasato ho and evam atma anatmano sadasato is that atma atma anatma sat is atma and asat is anatma evam atma anatmano ho sadasato ho ubhayor api drishta antah antah is what nirnaya nirnaya is clearly understood by them by whom by tattvadarshi what is that nirnaya sad sadeva asat asadeva it is very clear to them they don't get confused between sat and asat you on the other hand hey arjuna you are confused between sat and asat that is the idea here and yathoktayo ho tattvadarshi bhi and this is what i had explained taditi sarvanama sarvancha brahma tasya nama taditi so this name for brahma is sarvanama through sarvanama since sarva is brahma everything is brahman therefore this sarvanama tat is brahma uh, its name Bra- name of brahma tad bhava tad bhava is tasya bhava tattvam and what is that brahmana yathatmyam brahmana bhava is what is the yatha atma yatha atma bhavati that yathatmyam is how atma is that is Brahm- brahmana yathatmyam is the truth which is brahma how do you know that uh, he says uh, tattvadarshi bihi by by them they never get confused therefore by them the truth is always seen so and that is explained in this uh, tatchilya pratyaya tad drashtum shilam yesham te tattvadarshina taihi tattvadarshi bihi and then he says tvam api tattvadarshinam drishtim ashritya taking uh, understanding how they see how they understand you also take refuge into that kind of an understanding and then shokam moham cha hitva शीतोष्णादीनी नियता नियत पूर्व रूपाणि द्वंद्वानि विकारः अयम असन्नेव मरीची जलवत मिथ्या अवभासते इति मनसि निश्चित्य तितिक्षस्व इति अभिप्राय सो इट इज हाउ डू यू डू तितिक्षा नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड डू विवेक बिटवीन सदन असत यू नीड नॉट क्राई फॉर इदर नाउ सो हैविंग अंडरस्टूड हाउ तत्त्वदर्शी इज अंडरस्टैंड यू आल्सो अंडरस्टैंड इन दैट वे एंड गिव अप दिस शोकमोह शोकमोहं चेत्वा हैविंग गिवन दैट अप then shitoshna sukha dukha you can endure and all these dwandvas so pairs of opposites which are vikarahayam this is all a vikaraha and asat thereby ayam asat asat eva how marichi jalavat it is like the mirage water it appears it is not real so mithya asat is what mithya mithya means that mithya there is a definition uh, of mithya is what that which is not real but appears as real that is the basic understanding and what cannot be categorized so the one of the uh, definitions is what avidyamanatve sati bhasamanatvam meaning that which is not there but still appears that is mithya this entire prapancha is like that anatma is like that so he gave him a way out as to how to understand so kim punah tat yat sadeva so sat sadeva asat asadeva he has already concluded in the bhashya therefore in continuation he raises the question what is that yat sadeva which is sat always sat sarvada so sat sat sadeva means what sat sarvada sat it can never change there is no vya vichara therefore what is that sat iti uchyate that is being answered now avinashi tu tad vidhi na sarvam idantatam vinasham avyay syasya na kaschit kartum arhati avinashi तो तद्विधि न 
now this is the definition of avinashi for gita's definition as in definition as introduce what is that no so tadviddhi sorry avinashi to tadviddhi so we'll mark avinashi what case because it is neuter and it can be first case or second case both therefore we'll mark it once we have our anvay abhi vidhi is lot lakara madhya purusha ekvachana so no you should know what sh- what should you know therefore tat tad vidhi know that and now we have got the case case is dvitiya ekvachana tad vidhi tam tad vidhi you should know that what is that or may you know may you know that that as avinashi therefore this is an objective complement that is objective uh, tat and avinashi are in samanadi karanyam and they are karma to vidhatu vid here is jnane to know so may you know may you know that to be avinashi therefore these have tat and avinashi are uh, the way we say subject and subjective complement similarly tat is an object and avinashi is an objective complement so may you know that as avinashi however may you know that as avinashi what is that yena yena sarvam sarvam idam tatam tatam is tantu vistare i think tantu tantu vistare dhatu is tantu vistare tanta so tata is what basically vyaptam sarvam idam vyaptam yena by which all of this is pervaded tatam is pervaded and what pervades the other the karana pervades the karya so uh, the the pot is pervaded by clay so by which clay pot is pervaded that uh, that becomes its karana that is its karana and that you should know that as avinashi avinashi is in right now relative how relative because clay can also be destroyed so the pot clay pot is pervaded by clay and that clay you know as avinashi in compared comparison to the pot the pot after destruction also the clay continues to be now when the clay is destroyed what happens clay also is pervaded by its karana then that also by its karana and you keep on tracing then you will reach at a point which has no karana so that which is karana rahita karanam that is brahma and you can do this with each and every object therefore is a sarvam all idam sarvam is this entire world whatever you can cognize idam that is pervaded by its karana again that karana is pervaded by its karana finally you will reach that which is not pervaded by any karana because it is karana rahita karana and that is what karana of everything sarvasya karanam so yena sarvam idam tatam that is avinashi really so clay clay's karana again if it has a karana if it is pervaded by something else then that also is not avinashi so avinashi is only one tattva so yena yena brahmana atman actually finally it will be that yena sarvam sarvam is what idam sarvam yena idam sarvam all this is pervaded by which yena idam sarvam tatam tat tattu or you can say yena tu also yena tu yena tu idam sarvam tatam tad avinashi vidhi vidhi if you take these avinashi and tat is first case that is also possible but you will have to say iti iti vidhi because it uh, vidhi will uh, it will take second case therefore avinashi and tat as it is you can take a second case which are still in samanadikaranam with yena yat here yena yat in yena yena brahmana atmana so i'll just say yena brahmatmana because we know what it is brahmatmana तु इदम सर्व तत 
तद अविनाशी विद्धि और तद अविनाशी इति विद्धि इफ यू टेक फर्स्ट केस एंड व्हाट इज दैट फर्दर ही सेज विनाशम विनाशम अव्ययस्य अस्य अस्य अव्ययस्य अस्य अव्ययस्य विनाशम कश्चित कर्तुम सर कर्तुम कश्चित कर्तुम न अर्हति दैट न विल दिस न विल गो विद द वर्ब न अर्हति सो कश्चित अपि एनी वन हुसो एवर कश्चित अपि कश्चित अपि कश्चित अपि इज नॉट हियर ओके कश्चित कश्चित न एनी वन कश्चित न अर्हति व्हाट कर्तुम न अर्हति सो अर्हति अर्हे इज शक्यार्थ इज देयर पॉसिबिलिटी इज शोन इज इट पॉसिबल कश्चित कश्चित कर्तुम अर्हति कैन एनी वन डू व्हाट कर्तुम किम कर्तुम किम कर्तुम न अर्हति एनी वन कैन एनी वन कैन नॉट डू मीन्स व्हाट नो वन कैन डू सो एनी वन कश्चित मीन्स एनी वन एनी वन कैन नॉट डू मीन्स व्हाट नो वन कैन डू नो वन कैन डू व्हाट विनाशम सो विनाशम इज अज कर्म कश्चित एक्चुअली इट इज कश्चित प्रथम कश्चित कर्तुम तुम नंत कश्चित कर्तुम न अर्हति किम कर्तुम न अर्हति विनाशम कर्तुम न अर्हति कस्य विनाशम कस्य विनाशम न कर्तुम अर्हति अस्य अव्ययस्य of this avyaya is indeclare of this which never changes why avyaya because na vya vicharati asya satah avyasya brahmatmanah vinasham kashchid api kartum na arhati no one can do it and uh, bhagwan bhashyakar if i remember right he said ishwara api even bhagwan cannot destroy atma he cannot destroy it because it is it is atma of he, his own self as well it is his own self so atma is what atma if you say reflexive also atma we say everyone says i i i and there are no multiple eyes no one can destroy oneself it is not like that no one can commit suicide or kill others that is coming up next but avyasya asya avyasya asya avyayasya avyaya avyayasya कश्चित विनाशम न कर्तुम अर्हसी विनाशम कर्तुम कैनॉट डिस्ट्रॉय देन फर्दर इज सेज वॉट केन पुनः सॉरी नॉट किम पुनः किम पुनः तद असत सथी इज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन सो किम पुनः तत् यत् सदैव सर्वदा इति सो सथ हैज बीन आंसर्ड नाउ व्हाट इज असत किम पुनः तद असत विच इज दट असत दैट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यत स्वात्म सत्ता व्यभिचरती विच चेंजेस इट्स ओन सत्ता सत्ता इज इन द वे इट वॉज इट चेंजेस देर इज नो रियल सत्ता बट यू सी इट अपियर्स एंड इट हैज रियालिटी सो दैट सत्ता डज इट रिमेन नो यत स्वात्म सत्ता व्यभिचरती इट्स ओन नेचर सो सत्ता देर इज नेचर इट्स ओन नेचर इट कीप्स ऑन चेंजिंग इट इज नॉट रियली नेचर whatever is seen the way it is seen it is it does not remain that way ghata does not remain ghata forever it changes it changes into it in pieces so yat swatma sattam vyabicharati what is that kim punah tad asat uchyate that is answered here antavanta ime deha nityasyokta sharirinah anashino prameyasya tasmad yudhya swabharat He went across lines. So anta vanta, anta vanta ha, anta vanta ha, ime deha ha, nityasya, uktaha, sharirinaha, 
अनाशिन अप्रमेय तस्मा युद्धस्व भारत सो बेसिक सेंटेंस विल फिनिश फर्स्ट कंक्लूडिंग हे भारत लेट से तस्मा तस्मा हे भारत युद्धस्व सो युद्धस्व इज लोट लकार मध्य पुरुष एक वचन एंड भारत वी एव सीन मेनी टाइम्स इट इज संबोधन सो तस्मा युद्धस्व तस्माुस्व सो तस्मा युद्धस्व सो तस्मा सम कारण इज गिवन एंड देर फोर मे यू कंटिन्ू विथ दि फाइट ओ भारत वाय रीजनिंग इज गिवन हियर इमे देहा दीज दीज बॉडीज इमे देहा विच आर वॉट व्यभिचरति व्यभिचरती इमे देहा व्यभिचरती एंड देर फोर असत सो इमे असत दीज विच आर असत एक्सप्लेन एज व्यभिचरती सो दीज देहा विच आर कीप ऑन विच कीप ऑन चेंजिंग एंड हाउ कौमारम जरा ऑल दैट वॉज एक्सप्लेन यथा बाल अवस्था ऑल दैट वॉज एक्सप्लेन सो दीज बॉडीज कीप ऑन चेंजिंग इन दिस वेरी लाइफ इट इज प्रत्यक्ष अक्रॉस लाइफ ऑल्सो देल देल चेंज सो इट इज जस्ट लाइक टेकिंग अनदर बॉडी इज जस्ट लाइक ग्रोइंग इन टू अनदर इन अ यूथफुल बॉडी और एन ओल्ड बॉडी अंतवंत हिज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन अंतवंत दे मतु मतु प्रत्यंत अंतवान and antavanta is plural antavanta these bodies will have an end even if you don't kill them they will still die deha and what are these actually this deha is for a dehi earlier deha and dehi was used now sharira and shariri is explained here by deha and shariri so deha is sharira and deha asya asti ti dehi shariira asya asti ti shariri and so we can say deha is equal to sharira therefore deha asya asti iti sharirina uh, shariri and in plural sharirina so ime deha ha for a shariri shariri for a shariri for a dehi nityasya who is nitya this dehi atma is nitya atma has a sharira atma is not sharira so नित्यस्य शरीरिण इमे देहा नित्यस्य शरीरिण इमे देहा अंतवंत देहा इमे अंतवंत देहा दोज विच हैव एन एंड दिस बॉडी इज विच आर विल हैव एन एंड और दोज विच आर एंड मीनिंग every moment they are changing there by every moment the cells are changing so those which have an end they are what they are uktah they are said to be what antavanta ime antavanta deha uktah or we can say better still ime antavanta uh, nityasya sharirana deha uktah they are called to be the bodies of all these these nityasya sharirina deha ukta they are bodies they are called as bodies all that you see they are just uh, like covering for the atma and who is that nitya shariri anashi he is what was uh, where ex, was explained as avinashi avinashi is anashi so therefore anashi shariri and anashinah शरीरिण नित्यस्य अनाशिन शरीरिण देहा उक्ता एंड व्हाट इज दैट अप्रमेय अप्रमेय इज ऑल्सो षष्टी दिस आत्मा और शरीरी और देही इज व्हाट इज इज अप्रमेय एंड व्हाट इज अप्रमेय प्रमेय इज दैट व्हिच कैन बी मेजर्ड मेजर्ड एज इन कैन बी कॉग्नाइज you can cognize prameya through prama through pratyaksha all these pramanas through all the 
sense organs i can i can object they are pramana they are pramana for me to objectify anything by indriyas i can objectify all the five types of vishayas but atma cannot be objectified therefore that which can be objectified vishaya they are called as prameya vishaya why prameya vishaya because through laukika prama they can through laukika prama i can know through laukika pramana i can objectify them through indriyas but atma cannot be objectified therefore atma is na prameya aprameya nan tat purusha na prameya and asya शरीरिणः नित्यस्य अप्रमेयस्य शरीरिणः देहः देहाः उक्ताः उक्ताः दे आर कॉल्ड एज देहा फॉर दिस आत्मा तस्मात् हे भारत युद्धस्व सो वी विल सी दिस तस्मात् इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट आई विल जस्ट मेंशन इट दैट तस्मात् युद्धस्व हियर इज वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज दिस रीजन जस्ट बी सो हियर द बेसिक रीजन इज व्हाट सिंस आत्मा इज नित्य यू कैन नॉट किल इट तस्मात् हे भारत युद्धस्व डोंट ग्री फॉर द एंड फर्दर डोंट विड्रॉ फ्रॉम बैटल युद्धस्व डज नॉट इट इज नॉट अ विधि विल सी दैट इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट हा आई थिंक समथिंग एल्स आल्सो आल्सो लेफ्ट फ्रॉम द लास्ट पार्ट हा आई कवर बोथ ऑफ दैट ओम शांति 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 एनी क्वेश्चंस रीजन वाई so is there a um, or is it or in the meter right you have to fit that in the meter okay that particular chanda you have to fit it in right <laughs> in fact uh, why this you look at uh, see uh, you have to develop rasa for it you know over a period of time you will develop taste for it in, for verses there is absolutely no issues you know uh, in fact at least here they are together sometimes you will find the word here connects with this word what will you do then so mm-hmm. here at least you know see for example uh, you said nasato vidyate bhava see nasato vidyate bhava you try to uh, say uh, without uh, you know you don't need to make an anvaya what is the anvaya mean asata bhava na vidyate so is read it this way can you fit this in a meter asato bhavo na vidyate satah abhava how will you make it you can't make the so to fit the meter the words have to be jumbled mm-hmm. and only when you fit in the meter it will uh, uh, it will be poetic it's it's a, it's a poem right it's called geeta it's geetam actually it is geetam but uh, mm-hmm. arsha prayoga you can call it as uh, not arsha prayoga uh, it is uh, uh, it can be called as sadhu prayoga by geeta by making it feminine but uh, the right word should have been geetam we know as geetam geetam is what is a song and in english i think they have translation right the song of the lord or something mm-hmm. so that's that's what they call as so, uh, as geeta so uh, even in uh, uh, english you have to it has to be you, you should be able to sing it right and any song that you look at you, you, you listen to any song the words are in such a way that uh, unless you think over you can't make out the meaning especially poems yeah you have to see uh, they don't fit in they, it does not read like a prose section right and here it is clear anyway the first at least it has not gone across quarters na asata vidyate bhava and in sanskrit you can make any statement any which way because the vibhakti mm-hmm. will give the artha you can order it anyway i can say bhavaha na asato vidyate और आई कैन से असत न विद्यते भाव असते विद्यते भाव न भाव और असते असत भाव न विद्यते आई कैन पुट इन एनी विच भाव विद्यते न असत ऑल मीन द सेम देर फोर देर इज इजीली इट कैन बी जम्बल्ड अप फॉर द छंद मीटर टू फिट इन एंड स्टिल द मीनिंग कैन बी मेड आउट 
However, if you study Bhashya, you will see Rasa in Bhashya also. Bhashyakara uses this poetic language. In Bhashya, hmm. it's in many places you have to do an Anvaya. Okay. And uh, especially in Bhashya, uh, not only when he writes sentences which are not directly a commentary on words, but when he writes some some of his own sentences which are uh, uh, which do not use the Muna, there also sometimes you have to make an Anvaya. Unless you can uh, have are habituated to read Bhashya over a period of time, uh, you, you may not need. But otherwise, some places you have to do Anvaya there also. Because the Sanskrit is that kind of a language, you can fit in any way. So you start thinking of something, you can start writing uh, right away. You don't need to construct a sentence and then write. This sentence will be get constructed as you write. Mm -hmm. Especially when uh, Bhashyakara will take this word na asata and then start commenting on asata before he reaches vidyate. Then he may, instead of going to uh, other words, he may take this vidyate and explain this. Mm -hmm. The way the words have occurred, he will start commenting uh, the same way. So there it is anyway confusing, you have to mark the mula. But otherwise when he makes his own constructs also, he may make a poetic construct. It sounds very beautiful. You, when you study Bhashya, you will see uh, some of these statements. Uh, it is initially difficult, but then uh, you can't word it any better. It is that no one can word it any better because it, it sounds so wonderful when you read it. Okay. In fact, this is the first thing that we studied in our Sanskrit Pata, that uh, the Vibhaktis can go any which way in a sentence. Okay. I had uh, one question on Vedanta, but if maybe others have some questions, you can come back to me. Uh, I don't see anyone in queue. Does anyone else have any question? No, you can continue. I don't think anyone else has. <laughs> uh, uh, this word asat, how will we translate it in English? It, it <laughs> in English, you want to. Uh, uh, okay, let me see. Uh, I don't prefer English translation, but if you want to translate, uh, let's see. Because it, let's we see cannot it's use the unreal terms. Huh? Unreal, unreal you can no? say, but then unreal has its own uh, connotation. You can use unreal, nothing wrong, but this has to be explained, you know. Uh, you yeah. can say that which is not real. I prefer not real because unreal can mean, uh, I prefer, see, uh, the, uh, I would say what I prefer. I prefer real for sat, unreal for complete asat, like shashashranga. And then non-real for this, it is not unreal, non-real. So, it is a negation of reality, but that negation in which sense, in uh, not in the sense of unreal, not completely non-existent. So, uh, let's see what he does, uh, Swami Gambiranji does. So, I think he may say unreal, but uh, I prefer non-real. But, uh, I mean, because you brought up the uh, rabbit horns, will you consider rabbit horns different or isn't it part of Asat? It is Asat. It is the only thing which is uh, completely Asat. Ah, okay. See, what is Mithya? Mithya is that which does not exist but appears to be real. Now, can you say the same thing about Shashashrunga? Shashashrunga never exists. It does not appear to exist ever. Right? Rabbit horns, rabbit horns never exist. You cannot see a rabbit with horns. Mm -hmm. okay. Therefore, it has never existed. In fact, if, if that is difficult to understand, that is a Shastri example. You can take a square circle. If I say square circle, does it make any sense? What is a square circle? That is completely non-existent. So, completely non-existence versus Mithya, you have to be able to differentiate. In Mandukya, there may be not be necessary, but uh, for all practical purposes or everything, you have to make that differentiation. Uh, otherwise, it is very easy to fall into uh, Vada, Shunya Vada. So, he says, uh, what does he do, Gambhiranandha ji? Uh, do I have a translation here? Okay, Mula. Uh, let me give you a moment. English translation by 
स्वामी गंभीरान जी ओके गंभीरान जी ट्रांसलेशन वॉट इट से that strange translation and commentary so oh, display selected translations okay so here if you look at it uh, i don't so what does he say it still not come up that strange okay let me try again and uh, I have not translated uh, Sat and Asat for a long time, so I don't know what I would. Uh, then, uh, see, he, uh, he says the unreal has no being. The unreal has no being. So he says unreal. Uh, I I remember mm-hmm. generally Swami Gambiranji uses unreal. I prefer non-real as to to differentiate it from uh, unreal or Asat, as in completely Asat. Here it is not completely asat, but till we get to the meaning of uh, mithya, unreal can be used. Mm-hmm. So unreal has no existence. It need not be explained. Unreal has no existence. But what is unreal here? Ghata patadi are unreal. But how will you explain ghata patadi are unreal? If I tell you that unreal has no existence uh, or has no being, you have no problem with that, right? Nobody has a problem mm-hmm. if you tell a person that unreal has no existence. who has not studied uh, vedanta has even uh, you know basics of uh, vedanta he also does not have any problem with this statement unreal has no being so what when did i say it has being but we are saying unreal is ghata pata ghata pata has no being this sharira has no being why because it is not sat mm. so that's how uh, it it comes so um, and what is he say uh, unreal is what fine he saying uh, shoka moha sheet uh, ushna cold and heat is unreal they don't have any being meaning what allow other than their cause they don't have an existence they have dependent existence that is mithya mm-hmm. i hope you can see the difference yeah. yeah so if i have some images in my mind like in dream or something which mm. are not from the world which we see uh mm-hmm. deep also then like rabbit hole oh uh, no see that is tricky uh, so let's say uh, like puja swami ji says uh rabbit horns you cannot see you may have seen horns and you may have seen rabbit now you can put together and have a vision but mm-hmm. are you really seeing them the way you are seeing here so in srishti drishti prakriya we will make a differentiation we will say that in dream what you see that dream reality anyway you don't consider as real right you anyway yeah. consider it as mithya whether okay. you see rabbit horns or not in dream that is irrelevant because dream even everything that you seen in dream is unreal you will call it unreal right when you wake up you will say it is unreal yeah so there you wouldn't have a problem whatever you saw you saw whether you saw rabbit or horns or rabbit horns put together it is irrelevant anyway it is an imagination okay so what you are imagining you don't have any doubt you can imagine uh, a ufo you are seeing a ufo but that does not make it real you don't even have a doubt that they are real unless a person is a schizophrenic or has an issue that person will not have an issue with uh, what he is imagining as real imagining is any way imagination but here we are talking about objective reality even the objective reality is is not real that's what is being said okay okay uh, because what is our definition vyabicharati va na vyabicharati that is the question we'll ask now if you saw rabbit horns vyabicharati va na vyabicharati here you consider rabbit horns also as unreal i don't have an issue there but technically mm-hmm. it is separated out from mithya because really rabbit horns did to have vyabichara it did not have any achara in the first place mm. there has to be a presence for you to say that has it deviated as in you have you cognized it for it to deviate in the dream you say you you saw it but in the dream also it it even if it does you can you continue to see it in the dream but you shift your focus from that the rabbit saw to something else 
that time it has changed. So there in dream itself there is a vibhichara. And when you wake mm-hmm. up, maybe yeah. there is vibhichara. Mm-hmm. So currently, vibhichara is there or not? That is being said here. In fact, that's why I said that till the mithya definition is not used in Gita or in Gita Bhakti, we don't have an issue with calling it unreal or whatever. Only when someone questions that, how do you say it is unreal? It is existent, I cognize it. We'll say you cognize it, therefore it is unreal. Drishyatvat mithya. So if you can cognize it, it is unreal. Because whatever you cognize, is your cognition is going to change. And if the cognition changes, there is Vyabhichara. And if it is vebi, there is Vyabhichara, it is Asat. We have defined it. Sat is that which does not have Vyabhichara. Asat is that which is not Sat. Meaning what? Which, does, which has a Vyabhichara. Now whether if, if a person claims to say that, no, I see Sasha Shruna, we don't have an issue with that. Here, in this context, we don't have an issue because we'll call it that if you saw it, still it will have Vyabhichara. Mm-hmm. But Sasha Shrunga is, is kept separate from this because Sasha Shrunga is not seen in waking by anyone. If it is seen, it is a Bhranti. There may be a, uh, somebody which haunts behind the uh, rabbit and one may imagine that the, uh, the horns belong to the rabbit. But that imagination cannot be said to be Sasha Shrunga, right? Whether in dream or in waking, if you just see something superimposed, and in fact, that would be a good example to say that it is superimposed. It is not real. Not Vyavarika real also. You can't even cognize it. Just because you cognize it, it does not become real because if you change your angle of seeing, you will see the horns belong to a different animal and rab- rabbit does not have it. Mm-hmm. Shasha Shringa or another example is Nara Shringa also. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, this is one more thing I wanted to know. This, uh, when we say Yadvishya, Buddhi, Na Vibhicharati, uh, Buddhi also changes, right? So, it is all. Yet Buddhi change. We are not talking about Buddhi changing. Yadvishya is in with which Vishya Buddhi changes. Okay. With, with, with respect to what the, in fact, Buddhi is permanent, we are not saying. Buddhi is not Jnana there. Okay. Jnana as in not consciousness. Consciousness is Yadvishya, Buddhi is your understanding or cognition. Atma cannot be, uh, uh, can be, cannot be cognized the way other things can be cognized. It can be understood uh, not as an object you cannot see. But that which you can, can see as an object. See, I, I do not change even when the object changes. That is the idea. Take it as... Uh, Aham vishaya buddhi na vyabhicharati. Ghata pata vishaya buddhi vyabhicharati. From ghata you can go to pot, but I, do I continue or not? So when I see, I say I am seeing pot, I am seeing cloth, I am is continuing. Mm-hmm. I am is same whether it is in, when you, whether it, whether it is in pot vishaya, ghata vishaya or pata vishaya. I am is same, aham asmi. Ahamasmi has to be there for you to, you cannot say that I was not there, I saw pot. Makes no sense, right? Yeah. When I saw pot, I was there. When I saw uh, cloth, I was not there. Can you make such a statement? Meaningfully? You can make a statement, but is it meaningful to say that I was not existent when I saw the cloth, but I was existent when I saw the pot? You cannot make such statements to uh, meaningfully. What does that mean? You have to be there prior to objectify anything. That object may change and it does change. The pot is subject to destruction, it will change. But are you subject to destruction? You are not. That is the idea being derived from this. That I continue when I see the pot. I continue when I see the cloth. I continue. So there is Anvaya and Vetireka. What continues is permanent. What Changes is not permanent. So what continues is Sat, Atma Sat, Anatma Sat, Ghata Pata Asat. Why? Vyabhichara is there. Uh, can you say that Aham, 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 that changes? It does not change. Even in deep sleep it does not change because you wake up by saying I. Uh, and the, uh, I, since it is being recorded, I will cover that part also. Last time 
the word i was saying is pratyabhijna this is pratyabhijna i slept yesterday i woke up today how do you and you say that i did not cognize anything now the question is raised that uh, i did i was not there in shishupti if you are not there in shishupti how do you know that you are the same person who slept yesterday very ridiculous conclusion you will arrive at that someone else slept but i woke up you cannot make such statements because you have pratyabhijna you know that you slept yesterday you woke up you know that you are the same child who played with your friend in childhood who studied with another uh, in uh, college and then existent today and who will be existent tomorrow also you will conclude that i am the same person in my childhood but the body has changed so that body which is changing is not you that body which is changing is asat and you who has this pratyabhijna that i had anuvrutti in childhood in youth in so in sanskrit you say anuvrutti right this is the anuvrutti you have anuvrutti continuously in each and every cognition and you know that i am the same person that person i am that in childhood who i i was that is atma who cognizes mm -hmm. so that is uh, which does not have vyavichara but what is having vyavichara so buddhi let it have vyavichara buddhi is any way that vritti is only fraction for for a fraction of a moment but what is being said that that yad vishaya that relating to which relating to atma you don't have a different understanding you say that i am the same same atma who was there as a child as a an elder as a uh, as whoever so that pratyabhijna of atma is same i am i am i am continues in every cognition in in hearing also you have to be existent prior to hearing something that shabda may change shabda may change to uh, vision you may see something and then hear something you forget what you are seeing you listen to something oh beautiful music you lost sight of what you were looking at you don't even know your station has gone by when you are going by train so what happened there you shifted your focus from seeing to hearing now so strong a hearing so vishaya has changed so yad vishaya buddhi vyavicharati that this this is a pot you are looking at a pot and suddenly you are saying that this is some singer now you so that buddhi has changed whether with sight vision uh, whether with vision or whether with hearing anything across also it keeps on changing but i continue whether it is uh, the vishaya that i am seeing changes or vishaya that i see changes to hearing or to taste but i continue i have an anuvrutti therefore that atma is sat and everything else is anatma which is asat because vyavichara is seen is seen seen in the sense cognized is known mm -hmm. i hope that clarifies yeah yeah that's why it's difficult to look at the shlokas without uh, bhashya but since we are doing mula i'll see what i can do but i cannot uh, but go into some part of bhashya at times especially in these shlokas otherwise sad and asad are difficult to understand what sad and we don't have a problem in uh, just simple translation you know you say that uh, unreal does not have existence and real has existence what kind of teaching is this see without bhashya gita will be what nasato vidyate did arjuna ask this you can make an aropa you know anyone who is studying this without commentary what will you say krishna is telling something that arjuna didn't ask okay <laughs> Yeah, you you will come to that conclusion. Anyone who is saying what is happening, what is the connection? Nasato with the where did Arjuna say that that which is which does not is unreal has an existence? He never said that. So in Sanskrit we say prasakta siyo prasit prati keda. What is what kind of a doubt is arrived at, or what what kind of a question you have? Only that can be negated which you have arrived at. Prapta siyo prati keda. but this is not prapta you will feel but it is prapta why because only when he understands atma and anatma viveka then he will know that his grief is unfounded that's why gita is difficult to understand in fact any vedanta grantha without the teachers in the sampradaya bhashyakara has done such a wonderful job he is that's why we, at least we are seeing the connection between the two otherwise we will no connect we we'll not even no connections suddenly he is gone from one topic to another you cannot even make out what is happening here but he say he will point out this is what arjuna may be thinking that's why 
Krishna says this. Or these two shlokas put together make this sense. He'll he'll give that headway there. Otherwise we can't make out. Nasato vidyate bhava, na bhava vidyate sata. What is this? Who has such a doubt? But asat has to be understood. That's why you have to look at the take, commentary and see what is sat. Yadvishaya buddhi vibhicharati tad asat. Okay? Okay. Otherwise, see, with this shloka we can conclude that everyone is a tattudarshi without commentary. Why? Because see, asataha bhavana vidyati. Unreal has no being. And what? Sataha abhavana vidyati. Means the real does not does not have an end. It does not have non-existence. Okay, real exists and unreal does not exist. This is the meaning we have got. Now this truth is known by Tattvadarshivi. I also know this. Therefore, I am a Tattvadarshi. Done. Won't need any further study if we have this kind of conclusion by the Mula. But Mula has to be understood. And what is Bhagwan saying really? Otherwise, very difficult to understand the words. Okay. Anything else? Anyone else? So, okay, so I'll see you in the next part. Huh? Namaste. Namaste.